It's about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, T.I. is going to be starring in a new Fox TV series. It's called Atlanta's Most Wanted. He's also going to executive produce this new cop drama. Now, he's not a cop on there. He, of course not. How would T.I. be able to play a cop? Acting. As much as want, it's not, not from if he's in, if it was any <laughs> other state other than Atlanta, I'd be like, all right, cool. In Atlanta, T.I. got to be a felon. That would be incredible if T.I. could make you believe that he would. Now, that would be some acting. If you no. could see T.I. as a cop? No, not in Atlanta. Any other place but Atlanta. All right, well, he is going to play Marcus Armstrong, who is the son of a notorious Atlanta criminal kingpin. Mm. So that's, uh, but he's also recruited to be a part of a new vice squad that investigates criminal activity in Atlanta. So he like a double agent? Basically. So maybe he is kind <laughs> of like a wow. snitch. I don't know. What it wow. Like. <laughs> listen, this might be the now only that's time. Acting. Listen, this is the only time you can call T.I. a snitch and he ain't going to swing on you. Yeah. All right. He's he still might swing, still might swing <laughs> no, on you. No, no, no. He'll be like, well, you know, that's just what I had to do for the role. And we call that <laughs> act. We call that acting, shorty. <laughs> All right. Now, it looks like people are speculating that Jay-Z is preparing to go on tour. And that is going to be for the summer, immediately following the release of his new album, which is coming out June 30th. All right. Now, a source is saying that Jay-Z is planning to hit the road in a few months. You know, Beyonce just had the twins. Originally, the tour was planned for the summer, but now they have moved it to the fall because of the kids. You usually tour within a month or so of the album. But, you know, when you have twins just freshly born, you got to put that on hold. So right. That should be interesting. I can't wait for June 30th to hear this new album, by the way. Me too. All right, Jesse Williams, he is having some problems with his estranged wife, and now he is requesting joint legal custody of his kids. Now, his wife has refused his request for more time, and he said, Aaron restricts my time with the children and decides when and for how long I may have them. She has rejected without any reason each and every request I have made to have the children sleep over at my residence. On the few days that I have the children, Aaron has insisted that my time with the children be limited during the week to approximately two and a half hours per day, despite my request for more time, including overnights with the children. I am therefore requesting a court order for a joint physical custody parenting plan. And by this, that's what you got to do if you're not happy with what your ex or your baby mom is doing you got to make sure you go to court and be proactive and request that time all right and shout out to tracy ellis ross she is on the cover of a red book magazine and she's talking about getting into a happy place i always look at tracy ellis ross as a fun and beautiful woman mm -hmm. but there's things that go on in people's heads that we don't know about she said i've always had a somewhat contentious relationship with my body i spent years trying to teach myself to smile in a way that made my top lip look smaller a lot of that has to do with sexism and racism combined with the ever-changing tides of the culture of beauty one minute you're supposed to be really skinny the next minute you're supposed to have huge boobs one minute you're supposed to have no lips the next is supposed to be full no one can keep up i finally got to a place where i was like excuse my french f that that's not fair. I will be uh, I'll be interviewing Tracy Ellis Ross this weekend. I'm gonna be doing Genius Talks for BET. You going to the BET Awards? I'm not going to the awards, but I'm I'm hosting BET Genius Talks this Saturday. So I'm interviewing Tracy Ellis Ross, Issa Rae, Ava DuVernay, and uh, Nick Cannon. But he don't matter in that equation. Oh, what? Damn. I mean, come on, salute <laughs> to my guy Nick. But come on, Issa Dang. Rae, Tracy Ellis Ross, Ava DuVernay. I'm much m more excited to talk it's to those three. Just because you know Nick. I know Issa too. But I'm you, not like you know Nick. Issa. Yeah, Issa come on, did, Nick can't. Issa wait. actually did a. Uh, she wrote on the back of my book. She did a blur for the back of my book. She I had, mean, let me see what she said. She I said. felt like you hung out with Nick Cannon way more than Issa Rae. Definitely did. But I like Issa though. Yeah, Issa said Charlemagne is a freaking, <laughs> but he's my favorite one. Oh yeah, she knows you. Yes. But I'm just saying, Nick Cannon still has is a great businessman. And who would you be more excited to Nick. talk to? Come I on, see Nick all the time. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, see Nick all the time. See? You guys are fine. <laughs> Ava right. DuVernay, Tracy Ellis Ross, Issa Rae, <laughs> Nick Cannon. Damn it, One of these kids is doing their own thing. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.